Today on Julie Blanner, I'm sharing the secrets behind the design of Adeline's twin bedroom. I kind of decorate all the girls' rooms alike. There's a formula, and this formula is tried and true. It helps them transition from one year to the next, one season of their life to the next. And with that simple formula, you can kind of mix things in as they grow older. You'll see how Adeline's room has changed through the years with just a few simple tweaks here and there. It's evolved quite a bit over time, so I wanted to share all the details with you today. Now, with every bedroom, I like to keep a neutral paint palette. This color is soft chamois. It is tried and true. It's very warm, slightly creamy, and always cheerful. I feel like it sets a really great backdrop no matter what your decor is. It works for girls, it works for boys, a guest bedroom. We have it in our bedroom. It's great even for baths, kitchens, and more. But it sets a really great neutral backdrop and it feels warm and inviting. And most of all, calming. So that is one of my first keys to decorating a child's bedroom. You want them to feel calm. Another key are blackout curtains or blackout Roman shades. I absolutely adore them. They help your children get a great night's sleep without rising when the sun does. And sometimes that is definitely key to keeping them happy. Another thing I like to include in each of their bedrooms, which has proved to be very valuable this year, is a desk. Now, Adeline outgrew her previous desk that I had taken the council table and cut the legs down so that it was shorter for her. And so we ended up getting her a new desk, larger that suits her needs and will suit her needs until she leaves for college. It has plenty of storage and also doubles its vanity for those days when hair and makeup become ever important. So far, we're just done here, but I see it coming. And with having one bathroom for three girls, I was looking to the future, which I do for all of my major furniture purchases. Now, another thing that I have in all of our bedrooms are task lights. You know, their needs are different based on where they're working. If they're working at their desk, they need a light there. Adeline has chosen to use her bedside lamp over there and add a reading lamp over on her bed. But having task lighting really allows them to utilize their space to the fullest. I'm all about function first. Speaking of function, another thing I love to have in a bedroom for children is a pin board or magnetic board, some kind of board where they can share all of their favorite things, whether they're photos, art they're proud of, it's really a way that they can be unique and decorate their own space and personalize it without any effort or harming the walls. Like back in the day when everyone clipped their posters directly to the walls. I love to have a functional closet. Adeline's closet has transitioned with her from being mostly toys to mostly clothes and of course a full length mirror. From there, it's really fun to personalize. Whether you're using for smaller children, a table and chairs, which Adeline used to have and now Annie has and has her sewing machine on it, or a big cozy lounge chair, it's nice to have some additional seating in their bedrooms, a place where they can relax and decompress. It's a great place to cozy up and read a book or just hang out and jump on top of your sisters. Some other details of Adeline's decor are the pieces of art that we integrated. I found these gorgeous pieces of art from Restoration Hardware that were just too far out of budget and it doesn't really make sense because children tire things easily. So what did we do? We took some existing picture frames that we had and we painted our own. These X's and O's are the perfect tween decor. One of the pieces of art has transitioned with her from age four and I hope she never wants to take it down, but I have a feeling a mirror will soon replace it. 
but it's be bright, be happy, be you. I came up with that and decided I wanted that in metal wire uh, word art to go into our walls, like I said, six years ago, and I've never looked back. Of course, you puncture some larger holes in the wall, but it's a statement piece, and it's a great reminder every day. Instead of integrating wallpaper, I wanted an easy way to transition this from her little girl bedroom to her tween bedroom, so we integrated wall decals. These flowers make a big statement without a lot of effort. You can use as few or as many as you want, and it's just a nice added detail that really pops. For Adeline's bedding, we use my signature white soft sheet. The whole family has them. They're absolutely amazing, and they're so inexpensive. So they're a staple in our home. I paired those with a couple of gold stripe pillow covers, and then of course, a quilt and some shams. It feels really special and really fun, but it's really cozy and comfortable and most of all practical. To date, we've retained the vintage chandelier we added in here back in 2014. And again, I'm not sure if that's going to stick or not. I always like to kind of plan for the future, but also be able to really roll with it. So if at any time I feel like it doesn't really suit her or her room anymore, we can easily replace it. One thing every room needs is a bedside table. This one is so sweet and charming and the shape of a heart, and it's again a perfect addition to the tween space. So it's really nice when you select things that can move in and move out and transition with them without having to change a lot at once, or if at all. I like to choose things that can grow with them or that's versatile and we can utilize in another way in the future. Thanks for going behind the scenes with me and I look forward to seeing you again soon.